Gals, um, I, I just found something that I find absolutely fascinating. Um, as many of you guys know, I've been playing with a bunch of different things with uh, hydroponics lately, including some cracky stuff. This stuff's out in my greenhouse. It's growing kind of slow, but it's it's cold as heck in here. This greenhouse needs to be redone. It's got lots of openings in it. So um, right now, this is a far from an ideal environment. Everything here is being grown with synthetic fertilizers. Um, I'm using synthetics, I'm using some partial organics, and I'm using 100% organics. I'm doing that because I'm new to this, and I want a baseline to compare things from. So I'm not really talking about the growth today, though. So here we have hydroponics, what people call a sterile growth environment. We have a crack key system, meaning there's no pumps involved. There's just that container and six lettuce plants and a fluent underneath that's dropping, and as it drops, the roots chase it down. So I was out here and thought, you know, I wonder what the roots on this plant look like. So I pulled up this romaine lettuce, and look at that. That's a red worm. That's a red worm, like all the red worms that are in all of my uh, systems. I can only guess that somehow this little critter came out of one of those buckets which were running a rain gutter grow system last year growing peppers and tomatoes with soil in them, obviously. Um, and that was just straight water into soil. Um, I really have a hard time understanding how he got in there. Now, let me tell you what's what's in there or what's not in there, I guess. Um, these are uh, grow plugs that were from, you know, Amazon. I can't remember what they're, Rapid Rooter plugs. This is Master Blend Fertilizer, full synthetic and a lettuce seed. I didn't put any worms in there. I didn't use any soil in this. I don't know where he came from. These plants were started inside upstairs under lights. And when they got, you know, about the size of my little finger, um, I, I brought them out here and I put them into this crack key system. And there is a worm living in the root mass. And I don't know if there's, you know, in this, if there's any others, that's tangled up there. Oh, holy crap. Look at that. I have worms living in a so-called sterile system. And again, this is running synthetics. I don't actually want to run synthetics permanently. Um, where is he? There he is. I want to run a full organic system in the end. That's that's my goal. But I'm trying... Oh, look, there's another one. There's another one. Again, these are... These are rapid rooter plugs. I don't know if maybe what they're made from. There's some... I haven't found them in any any on the inside systems, though. Apparently, this icky synthetic environment is an environment that life... I mean, I don't have to put warm tea in there. This has me wondering, like... When you set up a system like this, can you just toss some worms into your net cups? Just a few little red worms? Look, at there's two of them in there. Can you do that? And then you got worms that are just living in there? I, <laughs> I, I don't even actually have a conclusion from this yet. I'm just saying that it happened. And I don't know that it's in, yeah, there's, there's none in this one. I don't know if somehow a little bit of dirt with some eggs. Now, I don't see in any of these other ones, I don't see a healthy roots. Man, I, I don't know if I would have believed that if I didn't see it with my own eyes. Um, wow. Check this broccoli over here. There's a broccoli plant. This was one that just didn't get put out in the garden and it was really looking sad. I had it up there and some of my seeds starting and uh, it's got a little head on it now. I just threw it in there. I didn't think it would make it. Um, you know, this had some soil on it. So if there were worms in this one, I would I would understand where they came from. I, I don't know. Tell me what you think. And any of you guys that do hydro, have you ever found worms, especially in a passive closed system before? Um, but the fact that they can live in there, boy, I was just thinking today, what can I do to soup things up from an organic standpoint in my productive systems? Um, wow. I, 
again, I don't have a conclusion from this. It's just an interesting observation at this point.